The COVID-19 pandemic has triggered a sudden demand for plastic products such as masks, protective gowns, and hand sanitizer bottles. Many of these products are single-use plastics. Today, more than 10 million pieces of single-use face masks are being used and discarded daily in Malaysia. Unfortunately, these plastics cannot be recycled easily, so most of them are sent to landfills and incinerators, which will cause harm to our health and the environment. If this problem is not corrected, roughly 12 billion tons of plastic waste will end up in landfills or the natural environment by 2050. Therefore, it is crucial for us to find an economical and sustainable solution for recycling plastic. Introducing the liquefaction of plastic into oil using supercritical water. Through this process, we can convert different types of plastic into valuable plastic crude oil. Supercritical water is used because its dielectric constant is lower than water at RTP. This means that it is less polar and based on like dissolve like theory, it is a good solvent for organic non-polar compounds. Moreover, it has a higher dissociation constant compared to water at RTP. This means that there are more hydrogen and hydroxide ions present in supercritical water. As such, supercritical water can act as a solvent, reactant, and catalyst facilitating the liquefaction process. Now, let us take a look at the process. First, non-plastic items are removed from the plastic waste. After that, the plastic is shredded, then melted and compressed. Next, the plastic waste is mixed with supercritical water. Here, supercritical water facilitates the conversion of plastic waste into plastic crude oil. The plastic crude oil is then separated via distillation into valuable petrochemical products, such as naphtha, gas oil and wax. Each type of plastic has its optimum conditions for supercritical water liquefaction. For example, polypropylene, the plastic used to make face masks, protective gowns and medical syringes, has an oil yield of 91% when subjected to a temperature of 450 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 23 megapascals for one hour. Supercritical water liquefaction is crucial in overcoming plastic waste pollution in the environment. It allows us to recycle plastics that were considered non-recyclable in the past and produce around 70 to 85% plastic crude oil from plastic waste. The acquisition of plastic crude oil allows us to save energy from extracting and processing raw resources, reduce the amount of fossil fuel for plastic production, and also reduce carbon dioxide emissions. It is a fact that plastics are one of the most versatile materials globally and their use in the medical sector has increased tremendously during this pandemic. If we do not take the initiative in recycling them, plastic waste will surely cause environmental pollution in our country. Through supercritical water liquefaction, we can convert them into plastic crude oil which can then be used for other purposes like plastic and fuel production. By doing so, we can create a circular economy for plastics to stop plastic waste pollution while maintaining its use in our daily lives.